Hey, just wanted to give a quick shout out to somebody that a member of my team found. Um, so good job, Uncar, for pointing us in this direction. I don't know this dude, um, but I love him, and he looks to be like a really awesome resource. He's posting a bunch of really good stuff uh, that's Google Ads related. It seems like really solid content. But here he's got smart shopping to Pmax quick tips. And y'all, this is important. And it's important because smart shopping is going away on July 1, I believe, which means it's freaking Armageddon for e-commerce stores and they don't even realize it. Um, we're bracing for impact. I've got a feeling that our phone's just going to be blowing up off the hook. Um, they are replacing smart shopping with Performance Max wholesale, which is square peg round hole. There's so many problems with it. Um, but here's Corey with some really good advice. So number one, don't pause your smart shopping campaigns until they stop spending or until the average conversion lag time ends. Here's why. You paid for a whole bunch of um, prospects, traffic that are in a pipeline, they're in a funnel, and if you turn smart shopping off, you're turning off that funnel. So this is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant tip. Um, let it finish remarketing to the audience it's built. I'm also interested to see, well, I, I'm actually not gonna say that. Well, I will. I'm interested to see how much uh, truth Google's telling in terms of smart shopping being phased out in its entirety or whether or not we see some um, some tail, let's say, to some of those uh, legacy smart shopping campaigns. Um, launch a Pmax campaign at the exact same daily budget as a smart shopping campaign you're replacing it with. That's also brilliant. Um, I, I think I'd, I'd go a little bit further than this. I think what he's saying is at least the same daily budget. But remember, Pmax is, you know, six other campaign types. So I'd make sure that if you're performing well inside of smart shopping and you, you want to have something close to the same efficacy, um, I'd overload your PMAX campaign when compared to your smart shopping campaign. I mean, if you're going, you know, 20 or 30% higher, that's fine. Uh, depending on your industry, you go two or three X in some instances. If possible, possible, launch a dynamic remarketing campaign. Y'all, this is so important. So John just loaded into company Slack a couple of weeks ago that dynamic remarketing is an absolute prerequisite uh, alongside all PMAX campaigns because PMAX doesn't remarket as well as Smart Shopping does. Now, this is actually to PMAX's credit because it's way more about new customer acquisition. Smart Shopping was more about reselling you, you know, your existing customers and not in its entirety. There's a Venn diagram here, but you know, one is more in one camp than the other. Um, main priority is new customer acquisition where smart shopping focused a lot on remarketing. Uh, review the insights tab of your smart shop. This is brilliant. This is genius. Um, I'm, sh I'm shamed to say that I actually honestly didn't think of this. Um, and it's, it's genius in its simplicity. Review the insights tab of your smart shopping campaigns for PMAX audience signal inspiration before it goes away. I wonder if it's going away. I wonder if we're going to keep that legacy data or what ends up happening. Um, great tip. Be realistic about performance expectations. <laughs> great tip. Uh, and how long you need to give PMAX in order to show signs of potential. This is not simply the new smart shopping. You're basically combining 67 campaign types in one. Be patient. So this dude's a freaking rock star and a genius. And then if you go look at his... Um, where did it go? Look look at all of his activity. Like he's just got a bunch of amazing content and pro tips. So I'm gonna I don't know this guy, I'm not I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'm gonna go drop uh, a link to his um profile though. Um because anytime I see anybody producing content that this good, I think they deserve um they deserve some visibility. So Corey, great job. Would love to have you on the show if you see this. Um we can just talk shop. And uh, other than that, y'all, the, the Pmax to, or the smart shopping to Pmax conversion is coming. 90% uh, of the Google Ads world is going to be caught flat-footed. Uh, we're going to see massive, massive impacts to performance. Um, I don't see this going well for most people because Google's transition from smart shopping to Pmax isn't going to, it's not going to show performance max in the best light. I do think some of the legacy data that Google has uh, is going to help it manage some of the risks, mitigate some of the risk, but not, not to any great degree. So um, make sure you're ready. Thanks for watching. See you all. Wait, before you go, I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the solutions eight team. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day, and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. 
Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.